Hello there, Rhino Horn One Twenty Five, and today I am doing a video or well, review on the, the Terminator on a Schwarzenegger um, NECA from action figure from uh, Terminator. Um, well, the very first Terminator, so Terminator, the Terminator. Um, so here's the front, as you can see, it just says Schwarzenegger up here. Has a nice picture of Arnold, and. Uh, Right here, I'm not gonna read that, but uh, if you want to pause, you can. And then, so just I'll give you time. So just pause right now, I guess. And uh, right here just says the Terminator on the side. It says the Terminator NECA. It says real toys on the side and the other side. Same thing. And then on the back, uh, this is a very nice uh, box. I wish. I would have got this with my NECA um, Hero Ash. Um, actually, all of my Ash action figures, but especially the Hero Ash one, that'd be nice. Um, which I think they're re releasing it with that. But, um, NECA is. Um, but the Terminator just has some numbers and stuff, you know, because Terminators. And up here, just the background, it just shows how they see. Nice picture of the figure. Nice p another picture of the figure picture of the figure and then there it is again and this is like a re-release um, because he has bendings um, well more articulation and way more accessories um, than the very first one so over here there is a nice um, picture sorry gulped if that's sounds disgusting but um, there's a nice picture HD picture of him of the uh, figure, and uh, that chain in there, let me, yeah, it moves around, uh, it is a, a real chain, so, oh, and on the top it just says the Terminator, so, um, there he is, and a nice look at him in the package, and as you can see right there, uh, this is not the only Terminator I have, I have uh, Arnold um, with the uh, brown hair um, from Terminator Genesis, um, which I've done a review on in the past. I have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Arnold, and now I have this one. So, pretty much all, just all three movies um, I have. Uh, well, yeah, I know there's the uh, Terminator Salvation, which I don't really want that, because then it'd be a naked Arnold, and that'd be bad. And then there's the Terminator, um, well, I can't, I can't remember the name of it for some reason, but... So has the uh, female uh, Terminator trying to kill him, but I don't have that one, and I they don't have an action figure of that one. I I think they do actually, but uh, it is not one of the newest releases of NECA, and um, you know with the bending articulation. So uh, here is in the package, and um, let's get him open. And by the way, go check out my uh, last few uh, videos if you want um, and uh, yeah so let's just get this open alright so here he is out of the package and uh, behind the package uh, there is um, this and it looks really nice and I'm going to uh, keep oh, that's pretty cool you can see his reflection on there but uh, I'm going to uh, keep this package definitely um, because of the type of package it is as you already seen so, uh, I wish all NECA, I mean, depending, I wish they made packages that were like this, and it's the same exact figure, but in the packages like the other types of packages they do, um, because depending on the action figure with me, it, if it deserves that package or not, so like, this deserves a package, and any of the Evil Dead action figures deserve that package, and, um, the Ash vs. Evil Dead um, NECA Ash that is coming out, um, any of those, those better, I mean, at least the Ash, like the main Ash, better, uh, have a package like this, and, or, uh, I'm not gonna be mad, but it's just gonna be kind of disappointing. So, anyway, uh, while I was talking there, uh, let's get to the figure, um, and like usual, we will get to the accessories first. So, uh, first accessories is, um, these, uh, tweezers. They do not open. 
I mean, they're like knife type things, um, but they don't open. Um, they're exactly the same. And uh, like in the movie, when he's working on his arm, he has these. And uh, here's the arm itself, which um, you know you just put on from the elbow. And this has a lot of detail. Look at that. You can see in there. And you can tell right here what this is, is in the movie he pulls on one of those and, you know, it just makes his hand go like that. And that's what's going on. So that looks really awesome. Thank you, NECA, for this. There's some veins in his hands. And definition, the muscle. So that is awesome. Uh, here, the next ones is these two heads right here. And I have prepared this Arnold um, sorry it's blurry I've prepared this Arnold right here um, for this to see if the heads fit and I will do that in a little bit so um, let's look at the detail on these um, right now uh, so there that is looks really nice right there I love how the way the blood is these are exactly the same pretty much besides this one's beat up um, with the eye missing and the blood on it, so look really nice. Thank you, NECA. Uh, NECA is my favorite action figure uh, company because they send out action figures with fantastic detail, and they're from my favorite movies. Um, I like half of NECA is a lot of my favorite movies. You know, like Predator, Terminator, Evil Dead. And they just need Die Hard. I mean, I want a NECA Bruce Willis with fully articulated be very very nice so here this is looks very great uh, it's a little off I guess but you know whatever I mean it's not completely over the barrel I guess it is now a little bit that looks great and that's actually cocked back and yeah I, I figured I mean why would that move but see it's cocked back so that's pretty awesome uh, next Next uh, accessory is uh, just a hand for gun holding. It's pretty, looks pretty good. Pretty looks like leather. How glossy that is. There's his fingers. Oh, and I dropped it. So and there's just the way it goes in. So that looks pretty good. Uh, it's even got fingernails on there. Looks pretty good. And uh, next, this is my favorite weapon he has. I love this thing. This looks awesome. Um, an Uzi. Got lots of detail. I mean, it's just black, but I mean, it's got all kinds of things there, right? Let's see. All lines on the handle and everything. So that looks awesome. I'll definitely show you that in his hand. And here is a shotgun. Terminator always has a shotgun. Uh, I do like this. Um, I don't really like how brightly colored it is, but I think it's like that in the movie, so. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm not positive, but it just looks like really bright colored to me. I don't know if it does to you guys. It might look darker on the um, camera, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got some pretty good detail. Uh, I like it a lot, other than the brightness, but um, you know, it doesn't bother me. It just kind of looked a little bright. So here is the action figure itself. Fantastic looking. Um, Eka has done a great job once again. I don't want to risk breaking any joints, so I'm going to go slow. And actually, tip best thing to do with NECA so you don't risk breaking their joints get a um, like just anything that could fit the figure in and have the water until it gets not as hot as it can go, but just as hot to where it's. A, hot to the touch and what you want to do is put them in there for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes and the paint that is still chipped there will go away so so you don't risk breaking off your action figures um, arm or leg or head which in this case uh, his head will not break off because you know it's able to be taken off but um, I've had this happen with a predator hound 
and a predator and I learned my lesson and I'm going I'm planning on getting uh two predators from Alien vs Predator um which are new kind of a new line of figures and I plan on getting two of those and predators have most of the problem cuz my brother has broken I think I think one or two I think just one um doing that yeah cuz his other one just broke after a while, um, so, yeah, Predators have the most problem with that, so, uh, I recommend putting these in hot water. Um, so, but mine, you know, articulation, pretty good. Fully bends and all that, nothing wrong with his articulation. I guess I did kind of, was really risky messing with it before I put him in hot water. So, I would recommend you to do it with this figure and any other figure that seems stiff just any NECA figure, I guess. Um, but, yeah. So, let's get to articulation. So, articulation uh, fully rotates all the way back. Um, arm goes up and down. Bends at the elbow. Swivels at the wrist. Goes up and down side to side. And swivels all the way around. Uh, jacket could open right there. And it's got some waist articulation. Legs go forward and back. Uh, in a little bit. Out which I don't see the point for that. I mean, it's nice to have, it's just you won't really use it. Um, I guess you could, yeah, like that. But bends at the knee, goes up and down at the foot, has an ankle pivot, and swivels up at the top of the boot. Um, let me just hold it right there. So it swivels up at the top of the boot right there. And other arm is the same. This is a real chain. Um, and uh, head, he looks, he looks side to side. His head could fully rotate. He can look down, look up. Um, and yeah, so fantastic looking figure. Lots of detail. And uh, now I will get to the detail. Um, so let me set him here. Hopefully this video, I mean actually, you know what? It's long enough because just showing everything on this figure. Uh, so here he is. Looks really nice. His hair looks great. It's really nice when the hair comes out great on figures too. To look good. The famous jacket. And you know what? I think this is my favorite Terminator uh, action figure from NECA that I have. And yes, I do like this version. It's my favorite version. But it's just, I don't know, it's just the figure itself. I guess when I do... Uh, in time get the uh, Terminator 2 uh, Arnold with the minigun with the bend, bending legs that will be my favorite but for right now this is my favorite Terminator action figure that I own so there's all the uh, um, writing on the shirt stuff you know whatever it is it's just hipster like punk clothes that he took the pants and uh, got the crinkles on the pants there. Crinkles on the boots. The boots look leathery. Sorry, it's shaking there. So there it is. And uh, there's a le leather glove once again. Crinkling in the jacket looks really nice. And I uh, got the zipper up here. Chain looks really great. So. There he is, and he's even got pockets over there. Of course, they don't open. Um, didn't expect them to. I mean, it's come on, it's not a hot toys. So um, let's get his um, like put his guns in his hands and stuff. So uh, first gun I will put in his hand is just his handgun, and. Uh, of, sorry if my hand is in the way. Alright, so there it is. And I do like the uh, both versions a lot of the Terminator of Arnold where he kills everybody that gets in his way and the version that is just nice and protects but will kill. So there he is with that gun. That fits in there really good by the way, hold it very tightly, um, here he is with the Uzi, so have him hold it like that, 
that as well fits in there very nicely. It's again. So his weapons, he holds them uh, very good. There he is. Uh, and now I will put the shotgun in his hand. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Uh, this is. Shotguns are hardest to put in action figures' hands sometimes. Just because of the way they're shaped, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, do this off camera. Alright, so I got that in his hand. Fits pretty nicely. Uh, it's not that actually hard to get in. I got it in there pretty quick. But, uh, you know, I just didn't know how long it would take. So, there he is with that. Um, he looks better with it, not pointing it. Um, but, you know, just having it like that. But, fantastic. And the great thing about Terminator is uh, the way my dioramas I make, they are more Terminator-like than any other thing. So, let's get that out of his hand. Actually, seems... There we go. And good thing about this is it's actually rubbery, so don't have to risk it, like, breaking um, with, like, it being hard plastic. So now, let me just take that arm off right there, like I do with my NECA Ash action figures. Uh, if you didn't know, I just, I switch around hands if you've, I mean, like, arms. So, there that is. There he is with that arm. And that looks really good. Uh, I don't know if, I think, I mean, yep, there we go. So, I'll take, I don't know if this is for a gun or to hold the tweezers or, like, the knife. Not knife. I don't know why I said knife. There we go. Uh, so... Yeah, I think these are to hold the, sorry if my hand was in the way there, but I guess they could be, I don't know, I mean you can't get his arm over there, but it fits in his hand, so uh, now for the different heads. Alright, so here he is with uh, that head there, which is just kind of normal head, and he doesn't have the same hair, so I think, I'm not quite sure, uh, yeah, I don't know, I can't, I think his hair changes in the movie, I mean, and they made it so realistic that they even did it for that scene when it doesn't look completely like Arnold, when it's like special effects, so, um, let me switch this head out and put the damaged head on. Alright, so that right there, that looks really nice. Uh, he doesn't come with an exacto knife, like when he took out his eye. Which, I mean, that would be nice, but you know, that'd be really tiny. And uh, probably wouldn't fit in his hand. But, you know, looks great on there. And I'll definitely be taking lots of uh, Rhino Horn, Rhino Horn's, uh, figure photography with this, lots of that, which is hashtag on my Instagram, which I do a lot of, and I just, um, just a few videos ago put a video on of all of the ones I've done, you know, up to the point where I did that video of just, I took a picture of all of them, so. There is my, the Arnold, um, the the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So uh, now for size comparison, here he is next to the NECA Ash, which is good size because they're both NECA. Um, so that looks good. And here he is next to the Infinite Series Captain America, which that is not good size um, with proportion. And yeah, I mean if you're not a little kid, you know proportions on a human body. Um, so, yeah, Captain America is much taller, and I plan on getting the Diamond Select Captain America from Civil War, <clears throat> Captain America, which is 7 inches, and the same as NECA, which would be awesome to have, it'd be like having pretty much a NECA, um, 
in NECA Captain America. And here he is next to his other self. Which, let me see if they're the same height. And once again in this video, the phone rings. So, uh, it's like there. So, they're pretty much... Yeah, th this one's a little taller. Alright, so I had to stop that. Um, stupid phone ringing again in my video. Happened in my last video as well. It's pretty annoying. Um, but, uh, anyway, let's see if this works. So, just hang on a minute here. And they should. Yes, it does. So there he is with the uh, non, um, like, glasses head. I mean, they don't look the same. The heads don't look the same. Hair color's different, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So then I know that one will fit on, and let's just, just for the fun of it, let's just see how that looks. I'm just popping Terminator heads off here. Just put that one back on. Alright, so. And I do like that a lot on there. This one fits more loosely for some reason. Maybe it's because I... Okay, there, now it's tightening up a little bit. But, if you don't... So that looks really good on there. Oh, so, anyway. There is the review on this. Uh, I give this um, figure a 10 out of 10. It's wonderful. Everything about it is fantastic. I don't have any complaints at all on the figure whatsoever. Packaging is um, also great. Just uh, phenomenal uh, action figure. And I look forward to taking some awesome f uh, pictures of this in the near future. And also, uh, just for background, uh, if you must know, um, things I'm working on is uh, I'm going to start a diorama. I had a video of a diorama I was going to do, but I decided I'm not going to um, do that. Uh, I don't want to do anything too specific. So what I'm going to do is make like a damaged like warehouse room. Sorry if there's noise in the background. If you can't hear it, good. But if you can, sorry. Um, but what I'm going to do is like a damaged warehouse room with, you know, computers or whatever in there. And, uh, you know, do the best I can at like completely on this diorama and you know just use it for any type of action figure I mean of like six inch and seven inch size so yeah so thanks for watching and once again uh, subscribe to see more and uh, stay tuned for more reviews um, I have two more figures coming in I don't know what they are because it's for my birthday and they came late coming late they should be here tomorrow so stay tuned for more reviews um i mean sorry when i say tomorrow i'm doing all the videos you've seen really recently i'm doing it all in one day so if it seems kind of weird that's why so uh anyway like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned for more bye and i'll be back